Hey everyone, it's Big Z and welcome back to Rakuen. So, in the last episode, some stuff went down. Um, I don't know if the hospital got hit by an earthquake or if it got hit by a tsunami. Either way, I think some natural disaster happened, so the hospital got, you know, hit pretty bad. And then the boy's father, who works at the nuclear plant, apparently had to stay at the nuclear plant. And I'm not quite sure what happened to him. I'm hoping we're gonna get, like, a definitive answer. Because I'm really nervous something happened to him, and I don't want anything to happen to his father. Because, like, this kid has already been through so much. He doesn't deserve any more heartache. Um, but with all that being said, and I don't know, that's the other thing too, I almost forgot. We have to find him, because he got taken away by Yami and got turned into an envoy, so hopefully we're going to find him in this episode too. But for now, let's talk to people. Let's talk to some people and see what's going on. We're so lucky to be this high up. People are saying the water washed away all the food and medicine from the ground floor. Oh, that sucks. I think it's nice how they've been using the bulletin boards for those articles. Articles? Yeah, I was like, articles? The ones about your husband and all the other workers. I don't have much, but I just wanted to say that if you ever need anything, please let me know. What happened? What happened? Please don't, please don't let my, I don't know, I have like a lot of bad thoughts going through my head right now. Please don't let any of them be right. A clipping from the newspaper article has been fixed to the bulletin board. Read it? Yes. Uh, there would be grounds to suspect that many workers were not really aware of the dangers of their assignment. However, according to Prime Minister Naoto Khan, the workers are prepared for death. Or were prepared for death. But they didn't die, right? I'm like really nervous. I'm not getting a definitive definitive answer and it's, I don't know, it's unnerving. I just wanna know that he's okay. The vending machines are all empty. I wonder if they'd let us take the sample drinks out of the display. I was about to say, it doesn't look empty, but I guess they have display drinks, good to know. I thought maybe they might be pictures, who knows. What's up, doc? Let's see how you're doing. He's almost finished for the day. Why don't you check back in a little bit? I'm sure he'd love a visit from you. Okay, so I guess he's undergoing treatment or something. So, let's ask around and see how everyone's doing. It's a great and noble thing what your husband and those workers did. Why are you talking in the past tense? Like, I know it's because it happened in the past, but they're, it's, they're okay, right? They truly are heroes and will always be remembered. I don't- I, I can't glean anything from that. I need to know what's going on. Someone please tell me what happened. I just can't imagine what it must have been like for those workers. Oh, that's all in the past tense. I mean, our hospital's been hit pretty hard by all this, but I still feel like it's nothing compared to what they went through. Your husband's a real hero, staying behind like that to take care of the power plant. Well, yeah, I guess I didn't really think about that. It was the power plant, so I guess they had to stay behind and, like, keep an eye on things. Make sure everything was still working so the town would still have power. It's probably best to keep clear of this area. The floor is starting to cave in from all the water damage. Okay. So what am I supposed to do now? There's not much we can interact with. Oh, here's another one. There are more news clippings on the bulletin boards. The nuclear power plant was damaged, but the heroic efforts and improvisations of its operators resulted in successful shutdown of all four operating reactors. So they shut down the power? That's why they had to stay behind? But they're okay, right? I don't know, it's a nuclear facility, so I'm like worried that there's gonna be something that happened. Um, read it, yes. Given that long-term effects of exposure to high levels of ionizing radiation would be more likely to appear before a natural death in older workers, some of the younger workers were given the option to leave. However, a strong sense of loyalty to their co-workers and community prevented them from leaving the ill-fated nuclear power plant. Oh, that does not sound good. That is not a good note, no, no. The ill-fated nuclear power plant? So, oh my god, did he die from radiation? If he died, I'm done. I'm so done. I've been saying that, like, constantly, but I really am. 
I may also be done because I don't know what else to do. Ah, here we go. Your doc- er, your doctor. Your son's all finished for the day and is resting in the recovery room. Would you like to visit him now? Uh, yes. Okay, come with me. I want to see our sweet boy. Oh my god, he's in a hospital bed. Stop. <laughs> I know he's been in a hospital bed a lot, but it's like really hitting home right now. And there are other kids in here too? Who's that? Who's this sweet child? Why have we, why have we not met them? He's right up ahead. He's been asking about you all afternoon. Aww. Oh, you're not a child. <laughs> I thought that was another kid. We just couldn't see him. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hi, sweetie. I'm here now. There he is, our sleepy boy. Mom, is that you? Yes, dear. How are you feeling? <laughs> he has his goofy face. I love that face. I'm okay. I feel like I'm moving. Like we're in a car. Are we in a car? I don't know. I, like, I think he's hopped up on drugs right now, so I'm like trying to give him the hopped up on drugs voice. But it's sounding more like my drunk voice? I don't know. Either way, he's like, he's feeling a little loopy. No, dear. Oh. Okay. How are you? I'm feeling alright. I talked to some nice people today. I got to eat some noodles. Noodles. I like where your head's at. <laughs> that would be my reaction, too, if someone talked about noodles. Yes, dear. Noodles. She's- you have to admit, she has to be, like, giggling at this. I don't know, it's like when you see those videos of, like, people who get their, uh, what are they called? Their wisdom teeth removed and they put them on, like, that weird gas and it makes them all giggly. I love watching those videos. Mom? Did I dream what happened to dad? What happened to dad? Oh no, that's not good! They're putting ellipses! I'm sorry, dear. That wasn't a dream. No! No, 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 no. Oh. Why? This kid does not deserve this. He doesn't deserve to lose his dad. Oh my gosh, he already lost his childhood by being cooped up in this hospital. Now he lost his dad? I mean, I kind of figured since it was a nuclear power plant, but still. Oh my gosh, my heart. I can't take this. That's what I thought. Oh, sweet boy. He deserves all the happiness in the world and he's going through so much misery and oh, why can't you be a real person? I wanna hug him. I wanna hug him and tell him everything's gonna be okay. Oh my God, he does not deserve this. But I want you to know that no matter what, I will always be there for you. But mom. Who's gonna be there for you? Aww, yeah, that's true. Mom's been like the rock the entire time. She's been like keeping it together this whole time and I don't know how she's doing it. Okay, things took a dark turn very quickly. First we were joking about noodles and now there's a uh, envoy everywhere. Am I supposed to be going this way? Can, can, I, go th can I go through that? Yep. Mommy? Where are you? Oh, I'm right here. I mean, I'm not mom. God dang it. <laughs> I responded out of instinct. I don't know why. I, I don't have any kids. I don't know why. That was weird. Anyways, I'm so scared. It's okay. It's okay, baby boy. <laughs> oh, I feel like it's my actual son. This is, too, this is too close to home, I guess. I don't know. Again, I don't have any kids, so I don't know why this is hitting so hard, but it is. What if one of these is him? Because he turned into an envoy. Can we, like, go up and talk to them? Oh, that's even creepier. They're not doing anything. What if one of the- one of- one of these are him? Because Yami turned him into an envoy. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Do I just keep going down the hallway? I don't know. I might never get to leave. No, you're gonna get to leave! We're gonna leave, and we're gonna go to, like, what, Disney World? I'll get you in. It'll be the happiest place on Earth. You'll be so happy. You get to leave the hospital. Don't say that. I'm too weak and too sick. How could I ever help anyone with anything? You've helped me. You've helped me a lot. You've helped a lot of people back in Rockawin. You've been so strong. Go to sleep. Yami, shut up. No one asked you. I feel bad. He's a kid, but at the same time, he's being a little punk. I don't appreciate it. 
you don't I love her like little March she's like no one tells my son when to go to sleep that's my job I tell him when nap time and bedtime is which one of you is my boy my sweet baby boy I know what it feels like to have someone leave you. The person who left me did have a choice. Oh, no. Don't let Yami get in your head. Stop. He's just... Don't... He's just upset. Don't let him affect you. He had the chance to come home and he didn't. Why didn't you come home? Go to sleep. Yami, stop saying that. We don't want him to sleep. We want to talk to him. We want to talk to our sweet baby boy. Who could be more important than your own family? Stop. That's Yami talking. That's not the boy. He understands what happened. I'd like to think. I don't know. He left us alone. But now I'm gonna leave her too. I'm not ready. I don't want to leave. Then don't leave. Please don't leave. <laughs> it's okay. We're right here. You don't have to leave. Oh my god. Why is he in that? Oh my god. This looks like something out of an alien movie. He's like in chrysalis. My baby, can you hear me? What did you do to him, Yami? Go to sleep. What is your deal? What is your problem? What is this? Real quick. I'm gonna go over there and give his ear a good tugging after this and take him straight home to his mom. But boy howdy, he's gonna get it talking out of me first. I just wanted to see if we could interact with the pill bottle. When you're asleep, you don't feel lonely. Well, talk to him, yeah. I mean, walking away isn't going to solve anything. It's okay, sweetie. I'm right here. You're not alone at all. Um, excuse you? That was very rude. I do not appreciate your attitude. Just talk to us and let us know what's going on. We're here for both of you, I guess. I don't know, because we're trying to talk to him too, so I guess we're here for him as well. When you're asleep, you don't feel afraid. It's okay to be afraid. It's okay to feel that way. <laughs> Yami's like, gosh dang it, this woman is just like messing up all of my plans. She keeps contradicting everything I'm saying, so he's not going to listen. I'm really scared. Aw, Yami. You've been a little brat, not going to lie, but I mean, I don't know. You just handle things differently, I guess. Obviously. Aw, I don't want Yami to be scared. Now I feel bad for like, I don't know, for being so mean to him. Oh, Yami. Just talk to us. Talk to us, Yami. My dear, I don't want you to worry. Everything is going to be okay. How can you say that? It's not okay. I'm not okay. Well, tell us what's wrong. I can hear what the doctors say about me. I know I'm all messed up inside. Sweetie, remember what I told you before? Do you know Yami? How... what? Has she talked to Yami before? Does she know him? Is she like... is he like the other kid? Cause like in their house they had three beds, but one of the beds could fit two people, so they had enough beds for four people. So is Yami like the other kid? You're in good hands. Your doctor is one of the best doctors in the whole world. The hospital is giving you treatments that have helped many other children get 100% better. Or is Yami a part of the boy? Because, I don't know, I find it hard to believe, or at least that would be like extremely heartbreaking if both her kids were in the hospital. You're not weak. You're the strongest boy I know. You're my little hero. You're my little hero too. The boy. Maybe Yami. I don't know. I'm confused. I'm too weak and too sick to ever help anyone. I'm no hero. I think Yami is attached to the boy somehow? I don't know. I'm very confused. They say dad was a hero, but why did he leave us? So, oh. Oh, that makes way more sense. Is this like the negative voice in the back of the boy's head? Is that who Yami is? Who's like telling him all this stuff and he's kind of like giving into it. Okay, that makes much more sense. It took a while, but we got there. Anyways, uh, why did dad leave us? Did he not love us? No, he had to make a very hard decision. He had to make a hard decision and the way that he decided helped everyone. 
Oh god, that's a hard thing to explain. We'll talk to him though. I don't know why I'm trying to explain it. Let let mom explain it. She's gonna be better at this. She's an actual adult. I'm just trying to be an adult. Oh sweetie, your dad loved you very much. If he loved us, then why didn't he come home? God, this is hitting a this is hitting a personal note too. Cause like I don't know. I remember feeling this way when I was a kid. My dad got called into duty to go to Iraq for a year. And, like, the entire year he was gone, I was so angry. I was so upset that he left us. But, like, now that I'm older, I kind of understand where he was coming from. Um, but it doesn't make it any easier on a kid. And, like, that's the other thing that breaks my heart, too, is at least my dad came home. Like, that sounds really harsh to say, but, like, his father chose to stay there and help everyone at the nuclear power plant to save everyone. So I kind of, like, I don't know. This is kind of hitting a personal note. They gave him the chance to leave the power plant, but he didn't take it. I know in my heart that your dad believed this was the best way to protect us. Yeah, exactly. See, I should just let mom explain this. Okay. I don't know why I'm trying so hard to explain everything. I don't even- I can't even relate to this much. Who's gonna be there for you? When dad died, I really wanted to help you. But if I die, I can't get stronger. I can't even do that. You're not gonna die, though. You're not. Oh, just keep talking to him. It seems to be helping. Sweetie, you're not gonna die. The doctors are doing everything they can to help you get better. Your latest test shows so much improvement. I know it's tough, but we gotta try to stay positive. We're gonna get through this together. But what if I do die? You're not going to. Stop thinking that way. That's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen, Yami. Stop thinking that way. But what if it does happen? It's not gonna happen. Yami, stop pushing us away. Let us in. I'm sorry, Mom. I don't think I can believe anymore. No, you gotta believe. You have to, like the song goes, if you just believe. What is that for, from the Polar Express, I think? Just listen to that song on repeat. I don't know. Or we'll sing to him. I didn't even see that option. I was, like, rubbing my eyes. Um, but yeah, sing to him. Maybe that will help. Close your eyes. It is time for you to tell the world goodnight. It might be dark inside, but there are still stars shining. Mom, no! It's okay, mom. It's okay. <laughs> oh, the poor, poor mom. She's been like the rock the entire time. It's Alibel. It's Gemma. Gemma, what are you doing here? Oh, and it's Tony. Is everyone gonna come? Is everyone gonna come over? <laughs> Kisaburo. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is very serious, but I just think it's funny that they put him in like the part where like, I don't know, the living water blob is there and he's just like sitting in it soaking like hey i'm here for you too just you know he puts out a webbed hand and like touches her shoulder she's like thanks i guess <laughs> anyway sorry back to seriousness he just looks so silly i don't know why and sue sue is there too oh my god sue everyone's here This is, oh, this is getting too emotional.
was all their songs. It was all the Mori no Kokoro songs. Oh, that was the last one. So now we can go see Morizora and get our wish, right? We're gonna get that opportunity. Our sweet boy is gonna get the opportunity to get his wish granted. Because he deserves everything. Everything and more. He deserves all the happiness. He deserves to have his wish granted. Oh god, I'm just really scared right now. I really want him to go be able to make his wish. Oh, Yami, don't cry. God, everyone's crying and I'm like, I can't cry. I gotta keep going. <laughs> Please. Please don't leave me. I'm all alone. I'm all alone and so afraid. Yami. Yami, it's okay. You're not alone. I'm not gonna leave you. You're not? No, I'm not. It's okay. We're in this together. You're part of me, and I'm a part of you. From the very beginning until the very end. So Yami is like the voice in his head. Okay. <laughs> okay. Great segue. Okay. I'm over it. I'm back to being a brooding child. Aw, stop. They're hugging. Thank you. Aww. He was like coming to terms with himself. He was... I don't know. I don't know if becoming at peace with himself would be the right phrase, but I don't know. Anyways. Thank you. Aw, now he's hugging mom. Other obvious observations. <laughs> I love you, Mom. I love you, too. It's been a long day, huh? The longest day of my life. <laughs> it shouldn't be funny, but I mean he's a child. He hasn't had that long a life to begin with. How old is he anyways? I never really thought about it. Too young. He's still too young. Too young to be dealing with this right now. We're almost there, sweetie. We're almost there. Come on. Let's go find Morizora and get you that wish. Yes! Yes, let's go grant his wish. Thank you, Mom. Can we go? Thank you. Oh, and now he's all happy again. Can we go? Yes, go. Go grant his wish. Whatever it is, please, just let him have it. He's been through so much. He deserves it. Morizora, what's up, dude? What's up, duder? You're gonna grant our wish, right? Hopefully. So... You're the one who woke me. Yes. I've heard the things that are too quiet for the ears. I listened to their fears, and I learned what they longed for. I learned their hopes and their dreams. And I wanted those things for them. I really, really wanted those things for them. I really want everything for you, too. <laughs> oh, I want everything good and happy to happen for this sweet child. Then you have completed the challenges of the forest, and I will grant you one wish. So tell me, young one, what is it that you wish for? My wish? Yes. What is your wish, my child? I wish... To be a happy, healthy baby boy? I wish for a ride on your magical boat. I want to sail to Rockowin. Oh no, is this gonna be symbolism for something else? Is this gonna be what I think it is? I really hope not. Very well then. Your wish is granted. Sorry, it's really hard to do that voice, especially when you're like on the brink of tears. It's a really cool boat. I like your boat. Can I take a ride on the boat too? 
Can we all take a ride on the boat? I'm afraid this is gonna be like symbolic for him passing to the other side. Mom? Oh, jeez, okay. I can't believe we're actually here. Yeah, it's been a long time coming. It's been a very long journey. You did great. Oh, Mom? Oh, they're hugging. I thought he was gonna ask a question. You're my brave little warrior. Mom, don't cry. The reason I go on. No matter what, I will never ever stop loving you. Oh my god, no. Never forget that, okay? And promise me you'll keep being brave. Keep shining your light. Mom. I want you to know that your kind heart and your gentle spirit, those are such special gifts. Mom. I'm gonna miss you so much. I'm gonna miss you so very much, my baby. Mom. Yes, dear? You're my hero. I can't do the voice. Promise me you'll be strong for me. I promise. Oh my god, they're all there. I love you, Mom. I love you. Oh my god. That's it, the tears are rolling.
But you hold me so I'd never be afraid As the sky falls down around us now If you tell me everything will be okay I believe you, you don't have to tell me how Okay, so that is the end of Rakuen. I took a minute to like recompose myself and I wanted to let the credits roll because this has been an amazing game and I wanted to acknowledge everyone who's worked on it. And I looked more up about the game because I figured we were getting close to the end. So like in between the last episode and this episode, I looked up more information. So I wanted to thank Laura Shigahara who made the game. She is a singer. She made this game. Apparently she also worked on Plants vs. Zombies, which I've never played that game, but it looks like a very happy, upbeat game. So, I don't know. It looks like a fun game, and I know a lot of people were addicted to that game, so they did good work on that one, I'm I'm assuming. Um, and just, like, this game was amazing as well. Like, and I think I also read that she is familiar with or may know or be friends with the same person who worked on To the Moon and A Bird Song, which if you guys have not heard of those games, I highly recommend it. I never had the opportunity to play them, but I did see To the Moon, and that one made me a hot mess as well after watching a full playthrough of it. Um, but yeah, this was Rakuen. She did an amazing job. And it said she was a singer, and I don't know if she sang the songs in this game, but if she did, great job. Because that was the other reason, too. I was going to like talk while the credits were rolling, while all that was going on. But I didn't want to talk over the song because it was beautiful. So, you know, I just, you know, I just wanted to let everything kind of happen. I didn't want to be too intrusive. I just wanted to let the credits roll. So... Again, people could be acknowledged and you guys could hear the beautiful song and kind of like, I guess, collect yourselves too. It was a good chance for me to like collect my thoughts and everything like that. Um, but yeah, so for final thoughts, the game was amazing. I enjoyed the heck out of it. I tried to keep it together towards the end, but like one of my biggest fears was like he was going to take that hat off and he was not going to have hair on underneath, or rather he wasn't going to have hair underneath the hat because... That happens a lot when you're going through chemotherapy. You lose hair. So, I don't know. There's something about seeing a kid with no hair that just breaks my heart. Um, so, yeah. Like I said, it was an amazing game. And it hit home. It hit a lot of personal notes. But I'm sure it's also... It's an amazing game because it kind of, in a small way, shows what it's like for kids who are going through this. Because they're cooped up in hospitals all day. They have no one but themselves and their family to keep them company. And, like, I've met kids... Like I said, I used to work at a theme park and I met kids at the theme park who are part of the Make-A-Wish Foundation and the Make-A-Wish Foundation grants a wish for kids who have terminal illnesses. Maybe not all the kids have terminal illnesses, but their family is just concentrating on paying the bills, basically. Um, so they help grant wishes for kids and like kids would come to the theme park because their wish was to visit the park and like just get to do some of the things around the park. And I, whenever I got the opportunity to talk to the kids, they were just the sweetest and it broke my heart because they were just so excited to be out of the hospital sometimes. Sometimes they would just, you know, they would be so excited to see what was in the park. And, like, it was one of those things where it put everything in perspective because, like, I worked at the theme park and I thought it was no big deal. But for them, it was a wish coming true. They got to do what they wanted. And, like, I guess that was the other thing that, like, made me lose it 
towards the end because like I had a small ray of hope. I like was holding on to a small bit of hope that he would get to go home after everything he went through, after losing his dad, after, you know, having to be in that hospital for so long. Just everything. That kid, like the kid in the story, our sweet baby boy, he deserves so much. Like he, I don't know, I just wanted him to have all the happiness in the world and I wanted him to go home with his mom and just, I don't know, I was kind of hoping he would get to go home towards the end. And, like, I'm sure this game hits home for a lot of people. It hits a personal note for a lot of people who have known family members or maybe have even had their own kids go through this struggle and unfortunately didn't win the fight. So, and I'm so sorry for anyone who's ever had to feel that kind of grief. Like, I can't even imagine. Like, I was a hot mess express at the end of this game. So I can't even imagine what it's like for those families and those kids. Like I said, oh, it's a lot to process. Um, But the game was absolutely amazing. Like, I cannot recommend this game enough. Just overall, this game deserves all the support. And, like, it was such a simple game, too. Like, that's the thing that blows me away is, like, games like these show you that, like, having intricate mechanics and amazing graphics and all that in games is amazing. But, like, it's one of those things where, like, personally, for me, if it doesn't have a good story, then there's no point in playing the game. And, like, this just hits it home even more for me. I'm saying that a lot. (laughs) But, like, that just drives it home for me more is that, you know, like, this game had an amazing story and I knew I shouldn't have gotten attached to the characters, but I did anyways. And just towards the end, like, I don't know. It was just, it was a great story. It was heartbreaking. And it kind of had, like, a happy ending because she, Sue was with our boy, our sweet baby boy. They ended up being together on the ship and his dad was there. And I think it was Kisaburo was on top. I can't remember now. I'm like, I don't know. I'm an emotional mess, so I can't remember all the details. But, like, he wasn't alone. He was with other people in the ship. So, you know, it, was, it had kind of a silver lining to it, I suppose. And, like, at the end, the scene with Mom where she's just, like, you know, taking everything in stride, I feel like that really reflected how she was in the game because she was a rock through the whole thing, and that really portrayed, well, what it must be like for families, for parents who have to deal with that, which, again, I don't know. I can't say it enough. Like, I'm so sorry for anyone who has to go through that and, like, they have more strength than I could ever imagine and I will ever understand or even experience. And I'll leave links in the description in case you guys want to learn more about the Make-A-Wish Foundation or if there's any other foundations that you guys know about that feel appropriate, leave it in the comments so I can put it in the description and that'll leave a link so people can follow the link. Um, I think that's going to be it for Rakuen though. So I do want to thank you guys for watching. If you watched the playthrough, thank you so much. Thank you so much for being a part of the emotional roller coaster that was Rakuen. And thank you for watching the video, and I apologize for losing it at the end. It was one of those things where it was like, I was doing okay, and then once he took the hat off and he had no hair underneath the hat, it was like all my fear is coming to fruition, because like I said that in the last episode, I was terrified that like he had to wear the hat because he didn't have hair, and he was afraid people were going to look at him weird because he didn't have hair. So that's why the mom made the hat for him, and then that actually came true, and I lost it. Um... But yeah, just overall, I hope you guys were able to take away something from this game like I did. I know it's going to be sticking with me for a long, long time. Like, a lot of the different messages in this game. And like I said, if you can support the creators of this game, I highly recommend it. If you guys would like to check out the links, I'll leave them down below. If you have any in particular you would like me to add, let me know. But I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here. This was the end of Rakuen. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. So, of course, I do want to thank you all for watching. And I will see you in our next little adventure. Bye!